Hi, welcome to Crafty Pete's. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Let me put the... All right. Hopefully by getting on here a few minutes early, we will get notifications sent out. We can never be sure. Never. All right. Post. All right. All right, we got a minute. I'm wondering, I got these glasses yesterday, and I'm wondering if I got them one thing too strong. Because they're a little strong. Hi, Avalon Apples. I think you're the one that mentioned, or you were listening while driving yesterday, right? Hi, Margie. Yes, I believe we're going to do three with tea. A couple times a week and then pre recorded at seven. Who knows? Uh, okay. This Friday, uh, we were going to go live with, uh, have a craft night with uh, White Tiger, but uh, she is going to be um, out with her family now. So we are going to go live on my channel. Probably by 8.30, like 8.30 to 10.30 or, and hopefully we'll get 10 people up on panel working on whatever craft you want to. Hi, Potter Lynn. Well, I hope Ivy Lynn comes on today because it's her fault that I went to Marshall's today. Okay. Can you, oh, you can kind of see um, I finished the little tags uh, with my, they were those little quart paint sticks from, their, I call them tongue depressors, but they're quart paint sticks from uh, uh, Home Depot. And we cut the ends off and we painted them yesterday. And then I got this white paint marker from um, Hobby Lobby and put paint on this one. It's going over there. And then I put, oops, tape, ribbon, 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 ribbon. And I, I was going to hot glue them. I thought, no, I'm not going to um, melt my pretty basket and so I fed that through and tied it and double double tied the bow and cut the in white tigers here hi there so that's that's organized up there um tomorrow was supposed to be my big reveal it is not going to be I am sorry to disappoint everyone but I have the photo shoot tonight well Right, I have to get off of here. Potter Lynn, will you make sure I get off of here at 345? Because I have a board meeting at 4 on Zoom. Then right after, I have to get off of my board meeting early. And uh, Gia's little grand daughter is going to be here. And then her grandsons. And we'll show you pictures of the setup. That's kind of a lemonade spring theme um, out in the back. So uh, it's a little overcast, which is okay for photography. It's a little windier than I'd like, but the little Nicoletta doesn't have much hair to blow around in the boys, and they'll be facing south, south, east. So I think it's going to be okay. So mark your calendars. I will do a pre um pre-scheduled and 
let's just say 8.30 to pat, to give me a little patting because um, I'll be going out um, to dinner with uh, my hubby and our friend. Hi, River. We won't tell if you're watching from work. That's what um, Megan does too. She watches with the volume uh, down. All right. Let's start. And I'll tell Ivy Lynn to go back and watch it because it's all her fault. Hi, Lavender Flowers. If you want to come up and be my Vanna, here is the link. There you go. Um, and in case you don't know, if if you go to the very back at Marshall's where most of the um, clearance is, um, but for Easter, some of it was over there in clearance, and then that middle that middle um, row in the back where they usually have. Hi, lavender flowers. Hello. Let me close the door. Hang on. What'd you say? Oh. I think she had to close the door. So we're the all the way to the back middle where they have all the uh, Easter stuff set up. There was quite a bit that was not marked um, for sale, but I knew it was going to be for sale if it had anything to do with Easter. So I went around to clearance and found somebody stocking shelves, and I said, I imagine these are um, clearance, right, because they're Easter, but they still have the same price tag. She goes, oh, yeah, I'll just take it to the – to the cashier and they'll mark it down. Look at the cute stuff I got. Um, five dollars and look at y'all. It's a little little bunny with cute. I know three more. Oops. Hi everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Sorry about that. The dogs have been set well. It's windy, and it's just, they have been going crazy all day. Uh, this was one of the things that they had to mark down. This is 350 And look, it's just a piece of water, board wood, but um, now I can do that next year on more of the wood. Made in the USA. Love that. Cute. Avalon Apple said that top looks really good on you. Well, thank you. Made in the USA, three fifty. So, uh, I'm going to no barking. I'm going to um, my sister and brother-in-law came over here for Easter, and they were. Uh, she's trying to be a minimalist. She has not reached it yet. Um, I've never proclaimed to even try to go there because most people, what would they say? I'm in the unloading. I'm like, well, I just started a craft channel, so I'm still loading. So, um, but I might um, sell all of my stuff that I've made for 50% off um, because my husband said, I brought two two bins down and there's no more room up there. Look how cute. 350. I love that. This is all Marshalls. Eight dollars. And you get two, four, six, eight, ten, ten buffalo tan um carrots. Then I can use this right now. 350. And you get a little Easter egg uh, cookie cutout. But it's a sister, y'all. So I have a big oh. crinkle one and love the color. So I'm just going to sell my bigger one. I'm going to three fifty. Hello, spring. So when I take the Easter down, look at this. Hi, what big guys? Keep saying another cookie cookie cutter. Go ahead. Just saying hi, hi to the people that just came in. And 
Days and Confused, Margie, Avalon Apples. Hi, everybody. Um, two fifty. I'm gonna give this to me and my sister. Are always uh, gifting. She's the one that is Beeson, so she collects bees. So be giving her that three or two fifty, y'all. Oh, I love that. Then look, peep peep. Uh, this was five dollars, but look, you get. I'll be giving this away as a gift, and you just roll up a kitchen towel that you can find at Ross, Burks, anywhere, and another little cookie cutter. But I'll be keeping the peep peep. So yes, I was excited. I think I've got a few more little things to show you. I told my husband, I said, I have to go, to, uh, I have to uh, run out. He goes, you don't have to, you want to. I go, well, yeah, I do want to, but I have a return at Ross, and there's a good good sale at Marshall. <laughs> uh, this is Ross for less. 12 by 12 um, canvases. You get four of them, and they were five ninety nine. I mean, that is a bargain. So you can mod podge a whole 12 by 12 um, scrapbooking piece of paper. And I picked That's up. A good deal. Oh, I know. I picked up McKinsey Child. And then we can mod podge a spring napkin over that or just anything. Mm -hmm. It's endless. I came in here. I don't know if my phone will do it justice. Uh, Ross for less, you know, they I, ours only has a little bitty row, one side row of craft items. One ninety nine, y'all. And look, that's well, I might even hot glue that to my ribbon thing, but um, and then so we got two of those, a dollar ninety nine, and then look at these. Two ninety nine for twenty napkins, watermelon. We were just talking about it, and then this says one in a melon, and so I'm gonna mod podge my mom for Mother's Day that in the back, and then cut around that design, and maybe um, those little wooden watermelon slices that you can get up at Hobby Lobby. I'll put that on the end and take it down to Galveston, maybe with some cut up watermelon. And then this was two ninety nine, already cut with the little um, black and white jute, and then you can just write whatever you want to welcome, or I don't know if I'm going to put it up there with my black and white check thing. I don't know. Okay. So I walk in, and I'm running on. Two wheels, um, of course, because I was going live at three, and this is what I found in my craft room. That is my computer on the floor, upside down, with oh no, yeah, with a uh, pretty and pink Ray Dunn love my peeps cup with all the straws so i'm just like my i'm just wanting to cry because i just know this is going to be shattered and i come across and it's landed in my basket untouched so how did it fall i had um i had my paint up on these little those little wooden slats that i the little yeah. so i had I had one of these and then one of the littler ones, and so it just gave way. So now I have, it's strong. I have two and one on the top, so it's not going anywhere. <gasps> but thank goodness, because this, this is the computer. It is very, very sensitive. My computer guy said, do not move it from that spot. <laughs> so I'm like, please, oh, no. and it worked, so. All right. Potter's, Potter's like, and you don't even have a cat. 
No cat. My family's allergic, so we are not cat lovers. But, well, I do like little bitty kittens that are uh, my sisters and my mom are highly allergic and highly allergic to most dogs, too. So, um, no, we do not have cats. So we're going to do that today. And you know how I was saying, no, this isn't what I was looking for. Well, it was. So we're going to make a, a long pillow like that for the photo shoot. So we're going to start with that. Shoot. So it's a little windy, but hopefully we, we can uh, get some cute shots in the lemonade. I didn't want to... I didn't want to permanently put it on that because I'll be changing that little white thing that I got from the uh, caterers out. And so I put two uh, nails and tied the, that real cute ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. So it looks real cute. And it's then what? Very windy. It is very windy. So uh, Gia hasn't answered me back. So we shall see. We shall see what her... Avalon Apple said, I have to make something for a friend who is retiring this week. Still trying to figure out what to make. Uh, why don't you go to um, Marshall's and get, I mean, they have gobs of Ray Dunn or whatever, kind of like relax and enjoy, you know, a Ray Dunn cup. And then they have, oh, wonderful, like, vanilla pecan coffee and, um, like, a little pamper basket. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like doing gifts that I would be excited to, to get, and I would be excited to get something like that. I'm excited with a pair of socks. <laughs> I got my son an early Christmas present. Well, I'm not going to give it to him, but I'll put it in the uh, in my Christmas stash. Um, it's a cactus, and it says "Can't touch this." And they were polo socks at Marshalls for a um, dollar fifty. They were like six six dollars or something. They're just clearing some amount. So I got some. A few clothes at, I took the clothes back, and then I got um, a few more to try at Ross and Marshall's. And then there was a thing at Ross, or a thing at, yeah, Ross, that said Easter, Easter craft, and it was just dingleberries, pom-pom balls, uh, and some, um, what are those called, chenille sticks, Um it was two ninety nine. I was just gonna get them so the next time my great nieces and them come over to do a craft and this young guy at this other register, I said, um, is this fifty percent off because it says Easter and he rang it up, he goes, No. I said, Okay, then I don't want it. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. So I got this. Uh, in the mail from the one of the V-Stash, um, the Facebook V-Stash. So I paid a dollar fifty, and then I think I paid two dollars uh, for the for the postage. But ours didn't have anything like this, and um, I was excited that it came before the photo shoot. So I made the little. Uh -huh. said that she did pick up some spa items. Yay! Uh, if you have a Ross by you, I mean, my daughter calls that store Ghetto. They have name brand, Michael Court. They have good stuff in there. And they have wonderful, like, charcoal mac masks that you can pick up. And, um, you know, if you want to just do a whole pamper basket you can just pick up like $2.99 and $3.99 um, exfoliating <coughs> a little uh, turban I saw some really cute hair turbans and Marshall's in it Ross for less 
I wish I could wear a hair turban, but my hair is too long. Ooh, how long is it? It's probably half my back, almost. Yeah. My hair, my hair grows long fast. Mine, well, mine used to, and then with my three major operations in less than a year, I had to start using bio, bio biotin, um, that purple biotin. shampoo, and yeah. uh, now it's it's gotten. I've always had thick and long um, hair most of my life, so it's finally got back to that stage. Yeah, I let it grow up to my behind, and then I'll cut it up to my shoulders, and then I let it grow out again, and then up to my shoulders. Oh, uh, Potter, will you put... Um, did you hear Lavender? Um, tonight's craft, uh, Friday night's craft night. White Tiger's going to join in, but we're just going to start it on my uh, page because she needs to go out with her family to celebrate. So yeah. from 8.30 to 10.30 on Crafty Peep Friday. Is that April the 9th? And then um, Tomorrow night or tomorrow is not going to be the tour of the craft room because I haven't been able to be in here because I've been concentrating on the photo shoot. So, um, and I think I'm going to do a pre recorded video so I can have my camera with me. And, and I think that would work out better. Speaking yeah, because when you when you tend to walk around your house with your camera, it just buffers. Uh, uh, yeah, someone stole stole your sunglasses, Avalon apples, or stoked my sunglasses. Someone stoked my sunglasses. I, I think they stole them. That's such a nasty habit for people to take other people's things. Isn't that awful? It's one of my biggest peeves. I can't handle it. When I uh, subbed for high school a few weeks ago, these two girls, I was acting like I wasn't listening, but of course I was listening. Um, oh, it was actually not two girls. It was uh, two girls and a guy. And he said, I love that blah, blah, blah. Did you say you got in Galveston? And she said, yeah, my friend did um he said i thought you said it was too expensive or this this or that she goes well it was i got in the car and my friend handed it to me um she she what she he did she didn't say steal it was a it was i guess a younger generation for the word steal and he goes dude that is messed up um, it, I guess it was from a, I want to say a droid shop, if that's a witchery shop, if that's the name of that. And he said, the oh, sign God. says right when you walk in, like if you steal something, like it's a bad, bad juju or bad whatever. Yes. She goes, I had money in my wallet, but I, I wasn't going to spend that much. And it wasn't until we got in the car that she handed it to me. He goes, I know, dude, but you're wearing it. And they were just like, oh, my kids, they knew better. They knew better. That was not going to go well if they ever tried to pull something like that. No way. I think my dad tried to steal something and his mom marched him right back in when he was like a, in a kindergarten. And I stole, what did I steal? I think I stole five cents from the milk uh, when I was in second grade from the milk. Um, you know, you had to bring five cents for your milk, for your snack. Yeah. Or whatever. And I didn't uh, bring mine. So she had a little tray on the desk. It wasn't for borrowing or stealing, but I took it because my desk was right there. And so... I think back then you had your first communion and your first confession in, in second grade. Um, uh -huh. Maybe not. And Third. they also gave you little bitty white uh, envelopes for uh, to put your change in to to donate. So 
I went to the confession. I'm like, and I stole five cents at the milk money. And he said, um, give it back. I said, do I give it back to my teacher? And he said, no, you can. He said, do you do you fill out your envelopes every week? I said, yes, sir. He said, you can give it back that way. I said, OK. And never stole again. I think the only incident I ever had was I I didn't know better, but the store, you remember how they first put out the Brock's candy and you had to buy it by the pound? Uh-huh. You thought I it was just a, taste it. Yeah, I didn't know. And I, so I took a peppermint one and popped it in my mouth. And next thing I know, they had me upside down because it went down hole. Oh, my gosh. And that was all the life lesson I needed. Think of how Jeremy, because uh, it used to be a lot of unwrapped candy, you know. Mm -hmm. well, you're, you're, yes, all those uh, plastic containers with the unwrapped candy that you were, you know, go grab a plastic bag that other kids have gone by and touched. Yeah. That's what creeps me out about the supermarket that's closest to my house is they have their bakery and they have all the donuts and then you just open the the doors and just put whatever you want in the box. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can't do it. I can just imagine how many people have opened that drawer and yeah. sneezed and ugh. Crap a lunch. Oh, those were my twelve by twelve canvases. Yes, I don't think I've ever seen twelve by twelve canvases, so I'm just me either. And four of them, no less. They're probably gonna make them more like that because everybody buys the twelve by twelve vinyl. Oh, gotcha. I got Eminem Mama, hello. She said she's listening at work. Don't tell. Mum's the word, Mama. Um, it was my sister-in-law's idea, but she said you should get Bob for Easter in his basket some uh, little canvas bags, and he can paint you and Abby. So he's like, that sounds like more like Crafty Pete, not me. And I said, no, you can paint us. So they're like little, there are, there's two sizes, like a five by seven and a whatever. So um, I told Abby to be thinking what she wants on hers. I made a pillow cot one time with three pillows, you know, how you like to fold open for the kids. Uh-huh. I made Adeline one when she was first starting to crawl around. She used to drag that thing everywhere. Ah. But I never thought of doing it with the hot glue gun. I did it with that, you know how you that heat tape that you can just iron uh -huh. it. Yep, I got that. that. Love that I don't stuff. Think I've ever used uh, hot glue to do make a pillow before I started crafting and saw it on somebody's uh, YouTube or Facebook Live. Um, oh, Avalon Apple said Dollar Tree is getting vinyl. Ooh. Whoa. Are you going to be doing the words earlier today because you're leaving earlier? Yes. Okay, you're at, almost at 3.30. Okay, thanks. I was going to have to drive down to Dickinson and then leave early to get back for, it's funny because John is the president of the board and it's his family that I'm shooting, but I guess maybe he, he didn't know that when, when, well, we have to try to get eight people's uh, schedules to, we were going to do an actual meeting in person and it'll be, it would have been the first one in a year. Like I can come, but I got to leave early. I didn't want to say because I'm shooting the president's grandkids. Um, <laughs> so 
maybe uh, I think three or four people have the commute from they're working in Houston all the way down to Dickinson is like 45 to 50 minutes. So I was glad to see it's going to be another Zoom meeting. I'm like, yes, saves me 20 minutes. Crazy Life said, hi, I'm watching while I'm up. And Potter <laughs> said she thought you were not going to be doing the words because it was a short stream, so she did not send it. That's okay. I, it's X, Y, Z. So I've got them. And the good thing with these pillows, guys, I'm using it for a photo shoot, but uh, if you use them outside on your patio or whatever, and then you're like, oh, I want to make dog clothes or I want to make blah 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 with that you just tear it open you have polyfill and material so you haven't wasted anything besides right where the uh, hot glue was yeah and you will say where are the pillows that were on the couch i'm like i already repurposed those <laughs> I, I set all of mine up the other day because they were dark and uh Look how cute. I just oh, Potter, I hope you feel better. Potter not that feeling good. Cute. Aww. Dang it. I told my sister-in-law, I said, imagine my frustration when I opened the back to put my Marshall stuff in there and her box of those gravy boats that I've had for how long is still in the back. I asked Ab, uh, Abby and Bob to grab a whole bunch of stuff. So I took, um, oh, I had a great big turkey roaster that my sister, the one that's minimizing, uh, said that she would take off my hands. So yay. And then I had probably 15 magazines that uh, my sister had given me some. I gave back to her with food and wine and good housekeeping. And I think she's taken them to her mother-in-law's um, independent living or um, thing. <laughs> my sister-in-law said, dang, I forgot about them too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. It's not on my phone besides the XYZ from the last time. Okay. XYZ from, oh, I didn't, oh, yeah. XYZ from the last alphabet go around was zany, which means, Overly energetic and yes, say yes when you possibly can, and zeal have a zeal for life, have a great zeal for life. All right, so today's XYZ is X marks the spot, you bet, and try to say you bet um, more often than you say now. You want to go to lunch? You bet. Um, yay. I love saying yay when I read text. Yay. That's why. You bet is why. Another X is Xanadu. Uh, I thought of who's the lady that plays Grease? Olivia Newton John. Uh, she sings that Xanadu song, and it means yeah. ideal, idyllic, magnificent, and beauty. So, it's kind of what I picture heaven, Xanadu. Um, and the only Z is zeal, because um, I used this last time. So what are your X, Y, Z? Hi, Shady Business. I like Z, your name. Uh, in here, yes. <laughs> zesty. I know, right? Yeah, Zesty. Why yellow? I love yellow. Yes, I put your bench out by your lavender flower flower shop. Oh, we are going to get to this too. So you tell me the the words, and I'll start working on that. Um, Avalon Apple said XOXO. Very good. Potter said Zambia. 
Don't worry about the crash. Zoo. Our craft room looks like a zoo. <laughs> This lady was a total Karen today, uh, dressed very, very nice, kind of grandma-ish, and um, <laughs> I'm right in front of her, or I'm right in back of her when she's leaving Marshall's, and she didn't have anything, and um, the little lady that uh, squirts your cart off and says, happy shopping, or whatever, she told the lady, she said, that was very, I found the store very dirty today. Very, uh, very dirty and very messed up. And the lady said, excuse me. And then she repeated herself. She goes, maybe it's just me. And then I saw her forget at Marshall's. I'm like, in, or Ross. And in my opinion, Ross is always messy. I just go in there for the good bargain. But I'm like, why, lady? I mean, if it's an extremely nasty bathroom, I will tell somebody that I just found your store extremely tore, and it was not. It just wasn't. I thought, oh God, that was that's a good one, Avalon Apples. Zen. Whoa, very good. And she put Xmas you in Zen. There. Xylophone, zebra, zoot suit. Zoot suit? My gosh, I haven't heard that since the 70s. Wasn't there a song or is there an afternoon special that said zoot suit? Bob's going to take Tommy on a date and wear his zoot suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of, last night when I was getting ready for bed, I'm like, uh-oh, I totally forgot about Friday because we have not been out with our friends, oh gosh, for a month uh, because of Lent, and I'm like, oh, so I asked my friend that schedules it, I said, is there any way we can start an hour earlier so I can participate. If not, that's okay. Um, no thought. And then um, I got a message from White Tiger. I'm like, well, yay, this is going to work. So. Hi, Soul Sister. Step one, coffee. I love it. Her hair's all messed up. She's in a robe and she's got a little her laptop under her, her arm. We're going to mod podge that. Oh, hi, so sister. You were missed yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Right. Since I'm not. Oh, good. I still have a few minutes. Oh, my God. I was so off. I kept thinking. Oh, hi, Gigi. I was thinking that uh, Mother's Day was this weekend. I, we're in April, dummy. Oh, gosh. I'm glad not. I, I, I know. I was I, like, God, it really creeped up on us fast. And I thought, I got to get two, get two. And then I just saw the date. I'm like, honey, we're in yeah. April. <laughs> Hang on one moment. Okay. All right. Just gonna... It's so glossy on top, and I think I'm just going to leave it like that and not much pudge over it. When it dries, I'll probably come back and paint the side black. Look how cute. But first, coffee. So I'm going to put it over by my coffee maker. 
and I'll probably do another uh, simple little black and white rag. Uh, for those that just came on, let me see if you can see up there the uh, black little uh, labels we did, and then I just hot glued a little jute on the back and came through that center thing and double tied the ribbon. So now at the, I wanted to do it that big so I can see it from sitting here. But uh, these that you get at uh, Dollar Tree, any of those, those are a little bit littler. If they, like I might use them to mark anything right here in front of me, but uh, those would probably be okay. And then they have the, but they're very flimsy. So if you're going to use those, I would put um, some, get some black uh, cardstock from Hobby Lobby and just cut it off uh, and maybe triple, you know, use that and then two pieces um, or hot glue that on a piece of, of the corrugated um, cardboard to give you a little bit more uh, stiffness. I had my doctor's appointment this morning. I got all my results back in. I'm a okay. Yay! Good news. All right. We just did that lavender flower, so I'll be finding some. Oh, I got to snip a little bit off the top. Oh, cool. Wonder where Karen Lynn's at. Oh, I forgot to text her. She's usually sleeping um, and likes my seven o'clock. But I just said at the beginning, I'm probably going to be going live every other day and then pre-recorded um, at seven. So, yeah, there's only 14 people in here, so we've got to get that number up to 30 to 50. Thank you, Soul Sister. I do feel much better. Yay. Sound 100% better. Mm -hmm. I think I have black and white. Uh, oh, I have that gingham uh, polka dot. That would be cute. Let me see. Here's how I... You're down four minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. And to separate the bins, I just use those Dollar Tree This Is Us. It fits perfectly and separates them exactly. Oh, there it is. Then I have my painter's tape and um, packing tape in that one. Then over here, oh, well, I'll show you on the video, but I had a uh, three-tier tray, and so I just hot glued three more baskets over here, so now it's a six-tier uh, tray, and I put my peep peep on there, and A through Z uh, letters that you can find at your Dollar Tree, and letters, um, numbers, I mean, and some beads up in that bowl. It looks good. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you. Hi, Gigi. That blue tape that you have? Yeah, painter's tape. They, yeah, I use. I saw a video and I used it for weeding. It takes all the little specks out in a second. Oh. So it's really good for weeding. So, so sister said you could use chalk pink tabs too if you switch stuff a lot. Chalk pink tabs. Yeah, they have a, like they're like the sticker tabs, I think. Like kind of like uh -huh. post it. Uh-huh. Uh I dropped this earlier, so it's 
got to rewarm up. So I'm going to use this on the back and then tie it in a knot up here. Isn't that cute? That's cute. All right. Well, hopefully I can get on Zoom from my phone. But um, thank you, everybody, for coming. If you didn't hit the likes on the way in, hit them on the way out. And I see so many of you that are catching my live after the fact. Ooh, uh, Potter's still going with the X, Y, Z. <laughs> you know our <laughs> Potter. <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't disappoint <laughs> they never disappoint oh funny um so today is tuesday wednesday i will go live three with tea tomorrow so um but thank you for those that are watching the videos after the fact and commenting and liking thank you thank you thank you so um we will see you all tomorrow, three with tea. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Miss Lavender Flower. Thank you to my pea posse. Welcome. Thank you to all my posses for, um, Ivy Lynn's not here, but she she just made me feel so good last night. Um, I was letting the haters get the best of my heart and she just uh, made me feel so good. So uh, thank you so much and, um, I love all of you all. I have a blast crafting with you and chatting with you. And I appreciate Lavender Flower being my Vanna. So I can do my craft and she can let me know what you all are saying. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And put on your calendar at 830 Friday and try to just we'll give you the link and let's try to get 10 people up on um, up on the screen just working on whatever craft you want to work on. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a Bye. blessed rest of the day. Bye, Lavender Flower.